Are you trying to deploy highly available applications with Kubernetes? There's many Kubernetes features that help make this a reality, such as managing multiple replicas of your app or rolling out new versions without downtime. But what about the system itself? Have you considered what it takes to ensure the control plane is highly available? This video is going to have two main sections. First, I'll explain what it means for an application to be highly available. After that, I'll demonstrate how to use the high availability option for Linode Kubernetes Engine to ensure that your clusters are ready and available when you need them. Hello, my name is Sid, also known as DevOps Directive here on YouTube. I'm a developer advocate working with Linode. If you want to follow along with today's demo, there will be a link in the description that will give you $100 credit when you create a new account, which will be more than enough to get started. Without further ado, let's get into it. High availability is a term that describes a website or application with maximum potential uptime and accessibility for the content within it. While a more basic system should be adequate to serve content at a low number of users, it may have a single point of failure. That means that if one component within the system goes down, whether due to traffic overload or any other issue, the entire site or application could be unavailable. Systems with high availability avoid this problem by eliminating single points of failure, which prevents the site or application from going down when one of the components fails. High availability does not mean that your site is never going to go down. Although it provides a number of fail-safes, no system is going to be perfect. Availability will still depend on the different components and how they're configured, as well as the resources that are allocated to each component. While high availability solutions offer your application greater uptime than a single host, remember the system is only equal to the sum of its parts. To create a highly available system, there's three characteristics which should be present. One, redundancy, two, monitoring, and three, failover. In other words, a high availability system works by having multiple copies of each component, that is redundancy, performing regular checks to make sure each component is working properly, monitoring, and then if one fails, switching it out for one that's working, failover. These three elements combined give you high availability. Let's talk through what a web application might look like first without high availability. We'll then identify some single points of failure and talk through how we could eliminate those to make our application have greater availability. Okay, so if we're running a web application, it's gonna have a number of different components. Let's imagine that it is running on a Linode virtual machine with a web server front end, something like Nginx or Apache, a back end written in Node.js, a database of some kind, maybe MySQL or PostgreSQL, and then the ability to store uploaded user images on the file system itself. Each of these represents one single point of failure within the system. The Linode itself could fail, the web server front end, the back end, the database, or the file system. Each of these we can adjust. What if we made a second copy of our application running on another system? That sounds good, and we could put a load balancer in front of it to load balance incoming traffic across the two, but without changing the design of our application, that might not work out of the box. When a user uploads a file, which server is that stored on? Instead of storing directly on the server, maybe we could use Linode object storage to store those files in a system within Linode that's highly available without needing to worry about which server they end up on. For the database, we'll have a similar concern. We want to make sure that our database of choice can either have multiple primary instances, that is, you're replicating data across both instances and can make queries across both, or has the ability to have a read-only replica, which you can fail over to in the case of, a, of the primary going down. I've gone through this example in the context of running directly on Linodes, but similar principles would apply if you were running your application in Kubernetes. Similarly, when designing a highly available version of Linode Kubernetes Engine, the team needed to look for various places where there were potentials for single points of failure in running the control plane and eliminate those. I'll open up cloud.linode.com and show you how you can configure your clusters using high availability mode. Okay, so here I am within the cloud.linode.com interface, and I'm gonna first show the process of upgrading an existing Kubernetes cluster. And so here I've provisioned a cluster named High Availability Demo Upgrade ahead of time, and now we'll go through the upgrade process. There are a few important things to note about upgrading a cluster. 
This will start to incur billing cost because there is a fee associated with running the highly available control plane. Second, it's a one-way upgrade process, meaning once you've upgraded a cluster to be highly available, there's no way to downgrade that and remove the high availability setting. Also, when you do the upgrade, every node in your cluster will be deleted and replaced with new nodes, and any local storage, such as host path volumes, will be erased. The upgrade process will take several minutes to complete because each node is replaced on a rolling basis. To do the upgrade, we can go here to the top right and click the up Upgrade to High Availability button. It gives me some of those same warnings I was just describing. I'll click the checkbox and click Upgrade. OK, Highly Available Control Plane is enabled, and this upgrade will take a few minutes as those nodes are cycled. We can see one of those new nodes coming online. Now we see another node provisioning. And a few minutes later, all the nodes have cycled and our cluster is now in highly available mode. If I wanted to create a highly available cluster from scratch, I can go here to the Create button, click Kubernetes, give my cluster a name, select a region for it to deploy into, pick a Kubernetes version, which types of nodes I want to have in it, and then just click this box as I'm provisioning it. At this point, I'll click Create Cluster, and a brand new highly available control plane will be brought up for this new cluster. So what's actually going on with the LKE highly available mode? One, it's provisioning multiple control plane nodes such that traffic going to those is load balanced. Data will be replicated across them. And if one of those has a temporary issue, let's say a hardware failure or a network problem, that'll be transparent to, the, to you as the end user of the cluster because it will be able to fail over to one of the working components. You also are able to Upgrade the version of Kubernetes running on the control plane without downtime because you can upgrade them one at a time. This is great for production workloads where you really care about uptime. However, you probably wouldn't want to use it for development workloads where occasional service interruption isn't the end of the world, and therefore you wouldn't want to pay that $60 a month. Now, looking back at the interface, we have our upgraded cluster and our new cluster both running in high availability mode. Hopefully, this video has given you an understanding of what it means for an application to be highly available, and when you would or would not want to use the high availability option for the Linode Kubernetes engine. If you like the video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe to the Linode channel. Also, let us know within the comments section the types of videos you would like to see moving forward. That's it for today. Take care.